Hello and welcome to a quick unboxing video of this ATM6 Heavy Assault Walker from Star Wars. This is made from the Japanese company Bandai. And yeah, it's the Heavy Assault Walker of the First Order from the movie Star Wars The Last Jedi. And I have to say I did not really enjoy this movie, but what was quite impressive were these walkers. So I ordered one of those from Amazon.com. I paid less than $8 for this and it's really small. I knew that it would be small, but I was a bit surprised by the box. It is extremely small. It's as big as my smartphone. Um, but nonetheless, I heard very good things about this kit. It's very, very detailed. I already opened it because I was so curious. And now we'll show you what's inside the box. So the box art itself is quite impressive. And here you can see other things from Bandai. Um, a lot of Japanese. Caution, warning. And the interesting thing is you don't need any glue for this. So it should be really, really easy to build. Um, before we look at the spruce, let's take another look on the inside of the box. You have another commercial for the X-Wing and Millennium Falcon. Um, following instructions, blah blah blah. And a lot of Japanese. Oh, and what's also interesting is that here on the top of the box there is the instructions. This is also really really small. But it shouldn't be very difficult. There aren't a lot of steps and also not a lot of parts. And I also read here um, if you if you look at the sprue, it's already gray grayish, but it says here you can uh, paint it with water-based paints. That's what I will do, and it also says here uh, you should use 90% of gray with 10% flat black. I don't know yet. I think I will try my Panzer gray on this one, but we will see. So yeah, here is the instructions. Pretty good layout and nothing special here. Now let's look at the spruce. Here we have the main body of the walker and you can already see this is my finger and it's really really small but look at all this detail here. Amazing. I think this is a part of the cockpit if you can call it like that. Yeah, I honestly don't really know what all the parts are. These are some kind of fuel tanks on the back of the walker. And a lot of detail. I really like the panel lines and all the small um, consoles and whatnot. Yeah, look at all the detail here on the guns. I know that the real walker from the movie is not very colorful, it's all the same color, but I will try to get a few different colors on here. I guess I will need a needle or something like that to paint this. There is no flash whatsoever, so a great mold. And there are not a lot of parts, these are the legs call it like that, legs, yeah, I don't know. And the interesting thing here is that the front legs have a joint, so this goes like that, I think, which means that you can move the front legs at least to a bit. And I already prepared some kind of diorama base. This is a styrofoam with a bit of paper mesh over it, a little crater, the plan is to recreate the planet Crate from the movie, so everything in white except this crater and the trench, which will be red. Maybe I'll even put a small LED in here and form an explosion out of cotton, I don't know yet. We will see. But yeah, this was my unboxing of the Bandai ATM6. Hope you liked it. Stay tuned if you want to see the outcome of this little diorama. It will take me a few months because I'm really busy, but just subscribe and you will see whenever I'm finished. 
Thanks for watching and see you then. Bye.